Our research has used census data to map mental health inequalities across the 32 London boroughs uh, and we found that seven London boroughs uh, we rated them red with very high mental health inequalities that showed levels of poverty, of overcrowding in housing and in other factors that influenced whether someone was more or less likely to develop a mental illness. And then we used that data to go out into those communities and talk to the Londoners who live there and ask them what would make a difference in their communities. And in Hackney, for example, uh, those re residents told us that, among other things, having free community space where they could safely and freely hang out with other members of their community would help their mental health. And the public health team there, there in Hackney then used that to change the planning guidance uh, and then challenged their own council when they had a proposal to rebuild a leisure centre to ensure that it had more free accessible community space which is what they'd been told at the workshop that we arranged on the back of the census data. So I think that shows you a really concrete example of how we use census data to then go and talk to communities who then talk to us about what would make their lives better and how that actually changes the physical environment and the services that are available to people. And we couldn't have done that without census data. And that's why we need everybody to fill in the census when they get the form uh, and respond as accurately as possible.